He, he came to the dormitory and he just asked, does anybody want to take uh, art lessons? And half of the guys put their hand up right away because to do anything to get out of that dormitory. In the dorm that I was in, we had to be in bed by seven. And just to stay up that extra hour was the, the it was a good feeling. That's one of the things that I found most interesting about the painting collection, is that we think about residential schools as places that are about taking culture away. They're about stripping people of their knowledge, of place, of people, of ways of doing things. And what these paintings reveal is that it isn't just a, a scene of a beach. It's a very particular beach. And when the survivor talks about that painting and says, this is the Nitnat Narrows, this is the beach at Kildonan, this is a kind of duck that was seen on the water here, this is a mask I saw, we start to really understand just how much knowledge those children had and retained in those schools. He kind of felt that there was uh a lot of hurt in that residential school of, of what happened to the students. And he knew how to make the kids forget about that feeling through his artwork. And he would, his favorite saying, that's why we called him Mr. Fantastic. Because he is a fantastic, fantastic. What a job. <laughs>